if she is not waiting for me, she won't be my spouse. I love it. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. She wanted to grind with me, and it was... Oh, there you are. Hi. <laughs> oh, hi there. How's it going? <laughs> this is marriage. This is all it is. All she just makes me carry her around the house. <laughs> um, I can also use that guy for on. Bet on it. <laughs> there are just a lot of good looking, stupid, moron boys in the world. And My wife and I just had our first baby, a uh, baby boy. Um, mostly my wife, she had the baby. How's my breath? Uh, yeah, I, I actually am waiting to have, or er, I'm waiting for marriage to have sex. Um, it just... I, I, you know, I don't think it would be nearly the same if, you know, you know, people always want to talk about how they're going to have experience before they get married and how it's going to be even better because they have experience. <laughs> that's, that's not my thing. I, like, that would not be nearly as special as, like, actually giving yourself fully to the one person you love, which would be your wife at that point. And I, I just couldn't think of it any other way. I am waiting because I think it is the right thing to do. Um, I've been brought up to think that being chased is the right way to go and you know honestly right now I think that's true. I think that I should wait uh, and I think it would be better if I did wait. I think that's a very important thing to do and certainly it's one of those things once you've done it you can't ever take it back so it should have some sort of special meaning. It should be something that is uh, important for you to wait for. Um, yes, I actually am waiting until I'm married because I just think that it's a really powerful, just amazing gift. And I just, I think it's going to be so incredible on my wedding night, just being able to look into my wife's eyes and saying, I think you were worth waiting for. And it's a choice that I made a long time ago. And um, I don't want it to be just a physical act. I want it to be emotional and I want it to be with somebody that I love. The hardships now are definitely going to be worth the rewards when I'm married. Um, I, it might be weird to some people, but when I was in high school, I actually um, prayed for her when I was in, as a teenager, when I was barely even thinking. I, I realized that she was out there somewhere and that one day I'd spend my life with her, so I just started praying to God for her. Um, praying for her heart and praying for his protection over her life and I actually am going to get married rather soon and it's clear to me that God's hand has been in that in this woman's life the whole time um, so yeah I, I mean as a high school egotistical selfish high school guy um, I was I already had those thoughts burning in my mind you can't not think about your future wife I mean, you would hope it's somebody that you, you, well, you, you know it's somebody that you love and everything, and, and you just, you, you wonder who it is, like, a lot, and one of the things you wonder is, like, you, you know she's going to be amazing, but, like, and she's waiting out there for you, too, and, you know, that's a good feeling, and you also wonder if she's done anything with another guy, and, um, I think about my future spouse, um, not all the time, but, you know, occasionally I will, and I will hope and pray that, you know, she's waiting for me, because, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for her, I am, you know, I'm, I'm going to wait for her, and if I get to the point where I finally meet her, and, you know, 
I marry her or whatever, and then I find out that she didn't wait for me, that's that's going to disappoint me. You know, that will hurt me. I I don't know how I'll respond to that, but it it probably it wouldn't be as special to me if she didn't wait for me, and I did. Um, I definitely think about my my future wife. Um, I mean, I hope that she's making the same decisions that I am. Um, it's something I think about. I know that in these times, like the decision to choose chastity is definitely harder, I guess, than it was for our parents or for any other generations. And and yes, I do think about her, and I hope that she's making the same choices. Um, I pray that she's making the same choices, but. Yeah, um, I think it should be realistic. If it's if it's not, then you're kind of like, you're not living in the right place. You're not hanging out with the right friends. Um, it's it's a good quality. I think it's I think it's a really good quality if somebody wants to be chased because it's like then then your relationship is based off of like personalities and not like physicalness. <laughs> So, um, getting to be friends with somebody by personality can lead more into the way you want to love somebody versus, like, le like not leading a chase life will lead into physical, but it won't quite be love. It's not what you're looking for. It'll never satisfy you. I definitely think that there are many women out there, many young ladies who have waited and who do feel the same way as I do about the importance of the sexual union and recognize that that is something that once you've given the way, you can't have it um, come back. So there certainly are some very intelligent, some very beautiful, some very spiritually focused women who have waited and trying to find one that fits what I'm looking for or trying to find one that has waited I think is a very reasonable expectation and something that most men would be looking for. In a woman. Dude, I think it's realistic to think that my spouse would wait for me. Like I hear people say, well why would I wait if they're not going to wait? Um, I think that is a stupid question um, because it totally defeats the point of what of what the entire idea is about. Um, I mean, in the book of Hosea, you see probably the best picture of God's heart for the broken, jacked up person. You see um, God call Hosea to go where go marry a prostitute, and not just marry a prostitute, but a prostitute that would leave him and go back to prostitution again. And God would call. Hosea to love her despite that. I mean, there's this picture of God's grace that it's almost impossible to understand. And I think the point is that God can reconcile and redeem anything. So I don't have to worry about what she's doing now. Well, I do because I'm dating her. But I, I don't have to worry about what she's doing before I met her. I don't have to worry about what what I've done because I can go to Christ and know that he can redeem that and reconcile that. So, in the meantime, like Paul says, do I keep on sinning so that grace abounds? By no means. Um, I, I pursue Christ and live in grace and in peace and do my best, like Hebrews 12, 1 says, to set my eyes on Christ and, and get past the sin that so easily entangles us because it entangles us and lies us and wants to destroy us. And make no mistake, that's all sin will ever do in your life. Um, yeah, I think the decisions I made as a young man were affected my marriage now and continue to affect the way I, uh, my interactions with other people. I think that the, any decision you make, and uh, I know that you're all in high school right now, it seems like, you know, the next decade, I'm about nine years, eight years, ten years older than you, um, are going to be sort of insignificant, but they're not. I mean, I can tell you that I, I can remember... Um, every girl I dated in that time, every decision we made, good or bad, um, and you reflect on those things. And I think that you have to realize that you know, like, you have to live with that stuff. You have to be comfortable enough that the decisions you make are uh, are going to stick with you, and they do affect the way that you uh, interact with people. Um, not everyone, you know, some people deal with those things better than others, but you know, um, particularly relationship decisions as you get older. People care about your past. Um, it doesn't mean that you, know, you can't date someone great because you did something stupid when you were in high school, but um, I definitely think that it matters.